So I've had uh, a couple of questions in regards to the Uno synth from some viewers. So I want to address some of these things, uh, specifically how do you hook up the Uno synth to Ableton Live, and also is it possible to record MIDI note data from the Uno synth keyboard um, into a DAW like Ableton Live. So today we're going to talk about both those things, so I'm going to show you how to do them. Thank you very much for tuning in to the show. This is Marshall. I appreciate you stopping by. If you're new here, I do a lot of videos on synthesizers and I have several on the Unisynth specifically. Check those out. I hope they're helpful for you. Consider subscribing if you'd like. If not, at least let's hope the video is helpful for you. So today again, we're going to talk about the Unisynth, how to hook it up to Ableton Live, and also how to record mini note data from just the Unisynth keyboard. Uh, for today's examples, I've got an Arturia Keystep and the Unisynth, obviously. Currently, the Unisynth is connected via USB, as is the Arturia Keystat. Um, the first thing I recommend you do with your Unisynth is to confirm what MIDI channel is it on. To check this, it's very simple. Just hit the Alt key over here in the lower right-hand corner, and then press the MIDI key. Now you'll see that light is green down there, and you see a little one in the, um, in the display. The one is signifying the MIDI channel, the green means we're on, we're showing the input, MIDI input. If we press the MIDI button again, it'll change to an amber color or an orange color. If you're looking at this on your screen, it may look red, but it's actually orange or amber. That signifies output, and again, we show a number one there. Um, so the default is input one, output one. If you need to change the channel for any reason on either of these, you just use the up or down key. So the default MIDI input one, output one, but it's good to just confirm that, make sure something didn't get pressed by accident. And to get out of that screen, just hit the Alt key again. So now we'll head over to Ableton Live. And by default, this is what the default settings are in Ableton Live when you first uh, started up. And I'm running Ableton 10 Suite. I don't know if every single version of Ableton has what we're going to use here, uh, but just keep that in mind. To control any external devices, you're going to utilize the external instrument module. And to get to that, we're going to go instruments, external instruments, and we're going to drag that into a MIDI track, and we're good. Next thing we want to do is just confirm in options, preferences. We're going to scroll down to the output section here. And we've got the Uno synth is showing up. We want to make sure that track is turned on. By default, this is probably off. If it's off, it will not show up in your MIDI uh, 2 section on your external instrument module. So just make sure you come and check that that is turned on if you do not see it in here. So then we're going to come over to the external instrument module and the MIDI 2 option. We're going to look for the Uno synth. Boom, there we go. And by default, it selects channel 1, which we confirmed for MIDI. Channel 1 is selected. Next, uh, we're going to check the audio from. This is basically where is your Unosynth audio coming from on your audio interface. So I have a, a big 32-channel RME interface, but currently I'm connected to channel 11. So we'll pick channel 11. And now if we come over to the Unosynth, we should hear some sounds. And again, we can play that from the keyboard over here. Now the question is, how do you record from the keyboard on the Unisynth? If you notice right now, if I play, and how about I... Now if you notice, if I play from just the Unisynth keyboard, There's not any MIDI notes being registered in Ableton, and you can tell by this little indicator here. There's also a couple little dots here and a couple little dots here. Now watch if I play from the key step. You see we've got indicators here, here, and, and here actually, up here. Um, and only on the key step. Now I, I cannot tell you why the Uno synth over USB does not work this way, but this Unosynth is actually running a later version of firmware. I am on version 1.01. .01. There is a newer version, which I believe might fix this. I don't know for sure. I'm going to test that out. 
But if you're on the older firmware version and you need to do something right now and you don't have time to test the uh, updated firmware, I'm going to show you how to make this work. What we're going to do is we're going to take the MIDI breakout cables, the MIDI DIN cables that come with your Uno synth. They look like this. Um, there's two of them. And we're going to connect these up to uh, a Mio or Mio. This is a um, USB to MIDI interface. They're about 40 bucks, probably somewhere around there. White is the input, black is the output. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to take the input from the Mio, we're going to connect it to the output of the Unosynth. This will get us output from the Unosynth keyboard into our DAW, in this case Ableton. So I'm going to plug that in. And we're going to go back to Ableton and I'll show you what I mean. So currently we've got the Unosynth selected in our external instrument. We're actually going to change this to the Mio, and I've got a couple of Mios hooked up, but I know that I'm hooked up to number two. So there we go, we've got that selected. Now if I play the keyboard on the Uno synth, you can see we've got mini note data here, and actually I can record this. stop and if we check it out we have notes in here and that is coming fr from the uh, Unosense keyboard into Ableton using the Mio interface you remember we switched that from the Unosense itself now the, the one caveat I have right now with testing all this is if you connect the input and the output of these little MIDI mini connectors at the same time, the Uno synth like freaks out and it doesn't like it. And it's probably because you've got MIDI coming in and out at the same time. I can't explain why that happens on this. I've tried switching the, uh, the MIDI channels um, on the output side to a different channel from the input side and I still get the same result. Um, it's not like you can really disconnect the USB cable I guess you could plug in the USB or use batteries and maybe that fixes it. I don't know. I haven't tested that. Also, it could be that in the latest firmware update that is fixed. But if you need to play this back, what you're going to have to do at this point is come back into Ableton and just change this back to the Unisynth on the USB connection and hit play. And that's... Oh, it doesn't like that. I guess that doesn't work. Anyway, you get some some flavor of this happening when you connect both the input and output at the same time. <laughs> so anyways, why don't we shut this off? I'm going to disconnect that. We'll power it back on. And then now we'll play it again. After it's done calibrating. Oh, actually, this is how you check your firmware version as well. Power the Unisynth off, turn it back on. After the calibration process, you'll see the firmware version flash up on here. And right now I'm running 1.01. .01. There you go. I would update to the latest firmware version, but currently it's late at night. It's about 12.30 in the morning. And last I had checked, the IK Multimedia site was undergoing maintenance. So not a big deal. I will check that out in a later video and I will let you guys know if this issue is resolved. Which I'm pretty sure probably is. You need the latest firmware version to run the editor anyways. Um, and again, I have I couldn't get that stuff tonight because their site was undergoing maintenance. Because I record stuff really late for some reason. Anyways, I hope this video was very helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'll always help out anyone who has any questions to the best of my ability, so feel free to ask if you have any. Otherwise, this is Marshall. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll talk to you guys later.